We have safeguarding officers in place at every IMF Youth Championship to ensure we meet all safeguarding requirements and standards. After having competed many, many times in international tournaments at IMF, I've concluded my uh, athletic career. Yet I remain the sport of MMA in my capacity as a safeguarding officer at IMF, maintaining the safety and integrity of the athletes. The most important safeguarding aspect operationally is to ensure that no athlete changes their clothes in the changing room and there is no filming or photography done in the restricted areas which include the anti-doping area, the warm-up area, the weigh-ins and the medical room. Youths can be naive and coming into the world championships with only one goal in mind, they aim for the gold. They don't have such a strong voice as an adult would when someone attacks their integrity. Therefore, you need independent third parties which make sure that the children aren't abused or attacked in any way. So our job is to make sure that nothing abusive is happening in regards to the children. Another important aspect in safeguarding is the reporting process, that people, athletes, coaches, staff are able to report any concerns that they may have. Another important aspect within the reporting is that they know that it is kept confidential. Anything they report that the people who need to know will know. Number two, that staff members are protected by the whistleblower policy, so anything they come forward with is not held against them. And number three, that any person that comes forward with a concern can also report it anonymously if they choose to do so.